Hey, well, we're in Hotel Del Coronado in San Diego. I've got um, the king, the king of the LCC here. Hopefully, my finger's not on the the microphone. So we just, we've just, we've just been at the uh, Mastermind Workshop. Um, this is the final, well, not the final day, but it's a, a day off today. And um, we decided to get a taxi out here to what is a reasonably rather nice um, hotel here. Beautiful. Um, pretty good weather. What is it, about 80 or 90? 90, maybe. 90, probably 90. Um, but the king of LCC is probably, it's probably worth having a chat to him if, you, uh, if you're on the program and you've, I don't know, some people, some people have done the LCC and others haven't. Some people, it's, it's, for a lot of people, it's the, the one thing that they can do very quickly that um, makes a, a big difference to them. But the king here has um, attempted an LCC on, now he's based, he's based in England, but he's, um, he's, he's had 30, 36 attempts at the LCC. 36? Um, yeah. 36, and he's, he's got 33 uh, victories. So 33 people have fronted up with the with the money. Whereas in the past, what would you have done with those 36 people? Or the 30? The, the 36 people would have got my services in time for free. I'd have gone, been desperate to go to their house and impart all of my knowledge to them in the vain hope that that was going to appeal to their their the way of do um, the way that their criteria for wanting to employ me. And I'd have I'd have wasted my time on 50% or more of those jobs, and that would have resulted in a financial loss for me. Uh, so the, 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 the great beauty of the LCC, that as far as I saw it and I latched onto immediately, was it was a way of getting paid for the work that I did for nothing. And when you actually add up the hours that's involved in that, it turns to, to be a substantial you did dollar a, or pound figure. You did a um, napkin calculation of what you might have saved yeah. um, by not giving away your work for free. What was that? Forty-nine thousand pounds. It came out to between forty-eight and forty-nine thousand pounds, which is about sixty thousand US. And I just saw that the immediate opportunity to just add that money back onto the bottom line, rather than giving that work away for free, oh. um, which is obviously a, a far greater um, a benefit to us than than, than to the know, client, <laughs> to the client who, who was getting our work for free. So yeah. it's enabled me to come to a beautiful place like this and sit here with Richard and have an enjoy a cocktail and. We're very grateful for that and uh, also grow our business, uh, add to our profit margin by substantial figure, um, you know, well over 100% up on last year profit wise. So, you know, really just do this program <laughs> if you're watching this with a, with, a, uh, with a view to whether or not you want to engage with uh, Architects Marketing Institute, I would wholly recommend it. Um. What else should we say? Uh, oh, everyone wants to know what do people charge for their LCC. So, what do you typically charge? My um, charge is eight hundred and ninety-five pounds UK. Um, we have to charge tax on top of that, which surprises Americans, I know. But we, we have to charge twenty percent tax. So, so that, that works out to about eleven $1 hundred pounds, which is I'm uh, getting on for thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars, I guess, by the time the tax is included. And then the next question most people want to know is, you know, what do you include with the LCC? What do you include? I have a standard form, but I listen to the customer and I include what I target my LCC at their needs. So if they say to me, James, I am looking to build a new house on the plot of land I have, I'll say, great. So uh, what we can do for you is to tell you whether or not you can build a new house on that plot of land and how much it will cost, and then embellish it slightly so I'll say you know also we could, what we can do is tell you how long it's going to take maybe, and probably in all likelihood to get that through the pre-construction and then the design and then the um, construction phase so we can we can present people with quite a comprehensive document which it needs to be for that kind of figure but a lot of it's standardized so with, the more you do the easier it is to produce that same document as a high value document that looks as though it's worth the money that you're charging so um, we've had no one disappointed with the LCC that we've provided so far some have been more difficult to do and others they've been easier but the, the difference in the, 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 the cash sort of works itself out the easier ones are, are a big win and the, the harder ones perhaps we don't make so much money on but the, the two balance each other out so it's um, it's uh, 
and as well it leads to the, the job at the end. If you do a good job at the LCC, people are more inclined to want to employ you uh, and less inclined to look around. So. And the final, the final question is probably, um, how do you sell the LCC? What do you, what, you know, what's the secret? You 33 out of 36. Um, some people get very nervous because they're used to giving away their time uh, and sketches even for free, it, it, you know, hoping they'll force some sort of obligation with the client. But um, how do you, how do you deal? With, well, what do you do? How do, what do you say? And. Uh, um, how do you deal when people say, oh, well, you know, uh, an architect will often say other guys or women in the area will do it for free, so. Yeah, um, well, I, I use the AMI script for, for one thing, and although sometimes you have to think on your feet and to, to start try and assess the individual needs of the client, in terms of selling to them, the process of selling to them is really quite simple. It's just a case of listening to what they want and then repeating it back to them is what I generally tend to do is say this is what we can do for you which is sort of exactly what you've asked for and how does that uh, sound how does that, how does that sound to you how does that sound to you and you yeah, most people say great you know it's exactly what i'm looking for yeah. well i know it is but we're, the conversation will probably have moved on significantly since then and will have digressed and gone to some other some other part uh, uh, so talk about something else and then i come back to it later so it's like right now this is what we can do for you and they kind of forget they've already told me what they want, so yeah. it just makes it, it makes it that bit easier to sell to people. But it's not a trick. It's it, you know at the end of the day, it's a valuable service, professional advice that people have got from you, and it's it's important to remember that that in few walks of life would you give that away. Yeah. And it's a valuable thing for the customer. So selling selling the thing I find easy personally. It's just a question of listening to the people, making sure you understand what their requirements are, and then offering them back what they've asked for. Um, uh, you know, once you get a standardized feasibility study together, it's really easy to just leave sections out or add sections in, and a lot of the content can be generic, but still valuable. So things about general planning permission or zoning, as you guys call it here. And um, you know, all of that stuff is pretty much gonna be you know, you, you can repeat a lot of what the actual rules are without having to be too general or too specific. Um, so that they, they get a nice fat document that looks as though it's worth the money and, and there's a lot of good advice in it. So. Good, makes sense. And um, remember a lot of the clients that you, you're dealing with, I mean, you, you know, they might be doctors, lawyers, accountants. Um, you, you, you ask a lawyer to uh, come and analyze your situation in great depth and give you feedback. Um, they wouldn't be doing that for free. You wouldn't be getting a spec out of them for that type of work. So that's good. Thanks very much. Uh, You're welcome, Richard. The, uh, the king of the LCC. So uh, thanks for listening. Hope, hope it helped.